Welcome to this presentation of how F5 complements FlexPod validated data center designs. I'm your host, Matt Quill, Principal Solutions Engineer with F5. So in a previous video, we showed a single site view environment running on a FlexPod and the value of Big IP LTM and APM for both local as well as remote user access. But now we're going to deal with a larger multi-site VMware view deployment and how that can complement a FlexPod as well. How do we provide access to a user desktop when there was a failure? Or more fundamentally, how can a user gain access to their desktop when that user transitions from one office location to another? As enterprises have moved towards adoption of fully virtualized data center, having a validated infrastructure to support these technologies has become increasingly crucial to effectively and rapidly deploying Tier 1 virtualized applications, ensuring that the storage compute, layer 2 networking, and associated software can interoperate seamlessly is crucial to having a successful and timely deployment. Fortunately, validated data center designs such as FlexPods address this critical customer need, reducing overall design time, configuration, and deployment times, and delivering dramatically lower total cost of ownership. While FlexPods use best-of-breed storage, compute, and Layer 2 networking for the deployment of Tier 1 mission-critical applications in a virtualized environment, application delivery is a crucial component of a virtualized application deployment. The F5 Big IP platform provides the necessary application traffic management and delivery necessary for a successful deployment of Tier 1 mission-critical applications in a virtualized environment. The F5 Big IP ensures application health and availability, provides for business continuity across data centers, unifies application security, and accelerates application performance. So let us take the specific example of VMware View deployments with FlexPods. The FlexPod architecture provides enterprises with several distinct benefits. Features such as Flash Cache address performance bottlenecks such as boot storms, login storms, and virus storms. Flex clones enable rapid provisioning of thousands of customized desktop images while using the performance of the NetApp storage array. NetApp deduplication ensures efficiency of all user content and desktop images in the VMware view environment. Finally, NetApp SnapMirror replication software can ensure reliable off-site disaster recovery and business continuity. The F5 Big IP solves other challenges in scaling VMware View to the enterprise. First, the F5 LTM provides local traffic management for several View connection servers within the data center. F5 Global Traffic Manager can allow users to connect across multiple View pods and seamlessly redirect users to their desktop. And finally, APM or Access Policy Manager provides secure access and authentication with single sign-on to view desktop environments. For the purpose of this validation, we incorporated a second Big IP 8900 LTM with APM at our secondary data center location in San Diego. We also provisioned a Big IP 3600 appliance for global traffic management. All clients will now connect to a single wide IP on the GTM and then be directed to their desktop in either the Denver location or the San Diego demonstration lab environment. Okay, so let's take a look at our setup. As you can see, we have a single wide IP uh, spanning two areas, and we have two uh, pools to which this points to. Uh, one in the Denver location, as well as one in the San Diego location. For the purposes of this demonstration, San Diego is going to be the primary site, and Denver will be the secondary site, and we're just going to simulate a failover between two locations. Now the first set of tests that we're going to demonstrate is basically a simple generic desktop. So let's think a uh, call center or somewhere where minimal customization or no customization is really required uh, for the end user and they can continuously uh, access their desktop in a sort of uh, generic manner. So let's kind of speed things up a little bit as we move along and we'll access our desktop. And this again is sort of an in the data center demonstration. We're going to show an outside or remote worker demonstration in, in a moment. So 
first one is going to be the generic uh, desktop access. We'll see we're pointing to view.trace3.com. The user account is view2 and we're going to be authenticated via the view domain. We see the San Diego pool and we're going to be directed to the view installation on the FlexPod in the San Diego data center location. So we just give it a few minutes to connect. And again, we have five view connection servers in each location uh, connected by a single wide IP. Uh, so multiple view pods can be connected together and globally distributed across multiple locations. So we see we've authenticated to the San Diego site. Now what we're going to do is simulate a failure and have the user be redirected to a location at an alternate site. In this case, it's going to be Denver. Uh, at the Denver location, what we're going to see is uh, the same view pool, and the user is going to be able to access their generic Windows desktop with no real customizations. So I'll just wait a minute for this to happen. Of course, we're going to just sort of force the failure over and take it down. Again, GTM is monitoring pools in both locations. And we're going to reconnect again via the view client. Again, view.trace3.com is the wide IP with the view2 account in the view domain. And we see now that we're directed to the Denver location. Again, it's a view installation running on top of a, of a FlexPod uh, installation. I'll just wait a minute for that. And we see we're now directed to the Denver location. We have our desktop and we have our features. So from a business continuity perspective, this is uh, fairly crucial because users can now be uh, there. So the next step that we're going to go through is actually what if, for example, we needed to customize our desktop. So we have an end user with specific applications, with documents, with different customizations to their desktop, and they need to have or maintain their roaming profile. So again, we're going to log in first to the San Diego location, and we're going to make some changes to the desktop environment. We're going to change color schemes, we're going to add some documents, we're going to add some folders on the desktop, wait a minute or two for the profile changes to be updated and synchronized, and then we're going to again simulate the failover and redirect the user to the secondary location. So we see we have our San Diego pool, which is our primary site again. We're just going to go in and change the screen background, make some modifications to some folders, uh, make it re look really hideous, add some documents, uh, and make some overall changes to the the environment as users would customize. And think of this as, as not only documents and folders and other customizations, but also applications and, and things that, that are essential to having a true independent customized desktop depending on department or location. And again, this is a demonstration environment, but we can sort of go into multiple different scenarios in deploying and scaling a VDI uh, desktop environment. So we'll just wait a minute while the folders get created. Now we're just going to log off this environment, again simulate a failover, so we're going to fail the San Diego location, and users are going to be seamlessly redirected to again the same pool in the same location. They're going to be authenticated using the View2 account. We have two view pools and two different pod implementations of View in two sites, but because all the customizations and all the replica all the profile customizations are replicated. Uh, user changes are going to be conveyed so that the desktop environment and the access is the same. Again, we can see we're logging into Denver rather than San Diego in this instance.
and now we're in our Denver location we see we have the background changes and we have our test folder as well as our app folder created. We can create new documents, add those, and then we'll just go back and, and simulate a fail back. In other words, uh, we're back in production, the Denver, the San Diego site can be re-established uh, and uh, we'll log back in and validate that we're uh, good to go. So again, now both uh, pools are up and available. So the primary is going to be San Diego, and we'll log back into San Diego. And we'll be just bringing up the pool, so that will take a quick second. And again, we're connecting to view.trace3.com, so a single wide IP. Same account, same domain. And we're back to the San Diego pool. And we see that we've have all our documents there. So that's the two-site solution, but we're in the day office, uh, we're logging on, we're logging off, we're connecting to both locations. But now let's say, for example, we have a situation where we have a remote user. Here we're going to apply APM to the overall configuration and using the Big IP Edge client, uh, we're going to be connecting by, a, a, again, a single wide IP, and then by a single sign-on we're going to be authenticating to both locations, again trigger a failover and have the user redirected seamlessly. So we'll see that we'll be connecting by the Edge Gateway. Again it will prompt us to connect. We'll be connected and authenticated automatically into the view environment because we put our credentials in. In this case the primary location is going to be the Denver pool, so the Denver data center location because that's where my primary desktop is located. And we see that now we're in our Denver location. So we have our Denver desktop with all of its associated customization. So again, we are authentic authenticated via APM. Those login credentials were passed in through, and automatically we were directed to our desktop environment. Again, we're going to simulate a failover. So we're going to fail over the Denver location in this site and be redirected to San Diego. And again, authenticate and log in via the Edge client, have those credentials be passed through automatically, and be redirected to the San Diego view and desktop environment. All of our customizations and configurations will convey. So again, keep in mind that APM has endpoint inspection, things like virus checking uh, and other customizations uh, so that you can make sure that the device from which you're accessing the corporate environment or corporate applications is secure. Again, we'll put in our login credentials because of this integration with Active Directory. We'll be using the same view to account in those credentials we pass through into the view environment.
Again, this is, has single sign-on capability, so we're automatically passed through, our credentials are passed through, and we're directed seamlessly to the view.trace3.com BIP, and we access our desktop automatically. We see now that we're being pointed to San Diego as opposed to Denver, which in this case, in this secondary, second scenario, is our secondary site. And there our desktop is, with all of its associated customizations. So we've now bounced back and forth and simulated a sort of always available multi-site VMware View deployment across multiple ViewPods. Thanks for watching.